Construction 5 asks us to create a line that's parallel to the given line passing through point that should say C just so it matches the diagram. So here we're given line AB or line segment AB and given point P. Our goal is to construct a line that's parallel to AB that passes through C. So in the end we want a line that goes like this. Your first step with this construction is to connect C to your given line. Now you, if there's an endpoint, you're welcome to connect it to the endpoint. If there's not, then just connect it somewhere on the line. And that's what I'm going to do here because in most cases, you'll have a line that extends infinitely with an arrow and not an endpoint. So here we're going to use the construction of an angle bisector in order to construct um, these parallel lines. So I'm going to start by putting my center on this point, we'll say D. And for this construction to work, we need to bring our radius into point C. So again, center on D, radius on C. And I'm going to swing this arc all the way down so that I cross my given line. We'll call this point E. So again, I did that by putting my center on D, radius on C, and swinging the arc. The next step is to actually follow through with this angle bisector. When you do an angle bisector, you um, are able to use any radius that you want for these baby arcs up here. But you want to make sure that when you're doing this construction with parallel lines, that you use the same exact radius that you just used to create that first arc. So here I still have that same radius. You can see I'm following my blue line. So now I'm going to keep it the same, but put my center on C this time. And I'm going to create a small baby arc out here. Not very big. Then I'm going to use the same radius again and put my center on E. And create that little baby arc again. They should intersect. If they don't, you need to go back and just extend your arcs a little bit. Now, an angle bisector construction would have you connecting D all the way out through that intersection point. But remember that we're creating parallel lines. So I want to connect C to this intersection point, say F. So here I have to line up my straight edge. And then all I'm doing is marking to create that line that's parallel. 